Good morning. I'll try to show you how the wind vane works. Um, it works better with more wind <laughs> or more speed through the water. We're only doing uh, 3.6 knots at the moment. Um, it does better above 7, I would say. But anyway, we'll try. It seems to be working fine at the moment. Um, so, we're sailing with uh, the Jenny out, the jib out, and a full main. And it's a close reach and very light winds. Um, nine knots at the moment. And we're doing 4.5 knots through the water. All right. So think about when you were a kid or now and you stick your hand out the car window. When you put your hand flat, the wind blows across it. And when you turn your hand one way, it goes up. And when you turn your hand the other way, your hand goes down. And when you put it back straight, um, there's no pressure on it. The wind flows evenly over both sides. Now, think of that as a rudder in the water. And when the rudder turns, it moves an arm one way. And when it turns the other way, it moves the arm the other way. So instead of your hand being going up and down, the rudder is going left and right. When that rudder moves left and right, it pulls two lines and those lines are connected to the wheel and it turns the wheel which turns the big rudder on the boat to alter the course so let's go try to look back here so down in the water is the wooden small rudder and as the wind changes across the bow of the boat, or in this case, the stern of the boat, the little rudder turns side to side, and it moves the arm back and forth, which pulls the red line, which goes through some blocks, and connects to the wheel. So as the rudder is going back and forth through the water, it's pulling the red lines and changing the course by turning the wheel and the big rudder. Now what you do is you set your sails the way you want to go. So that they're trimmed properly and you're heading the way you want and then you turn that wind vane so in theory it's straight up and down and the winds flowing evenly across it as the bow of the boat turns and the wind hits that vane on one side or the other it flops over to one side so right now it's going to starboard and so that's turning the little auxiliary rudder in the water and pulling the lines and turning the wheel and it's altering the course of the boat. Now it's starting to flip a little bit to port. So that turns the rudder in the water the opposite direction, turns the wheel in the opposite direction and it averages out to keeping you on the same heading if the wind direction is constant and right now it's pretty constant so in theory when it's straight up and down you're on your course when it leans over to one side it's trying to adjust you one way and when it flips the other direction it's adjusting you slightly the other way and 
you can make fine trimming adjustments with the string, the black string, and slightly trim this so that that vein is staying straight up in the air. So once you have it set, it steers a pretty good course. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I haven't touched the wheel in a long time. And um, the, the gray here is what they call the roadway heading up to my point. So over the course of the day, the boat should pretty much stay on that red line as long as the wind is uh, constant and from this direction. And I look at it every 20 minutes or so and make little tweaks. But uh, pretty much that's it. There's no, uh, there's no need to be behind the wheel. It's all mechanical and um, it just sits there and works. So like I said, I've had my um, B&G networked autopilot installed or on the boat not installed for a year. And uh, I've yet to hook it up. So uh, as long as there's four, five knots of boat speed through the water, it works great. And um, that's how the wind pilot works. <laughs>